<laughs> I am so hungry, I need breakfast. Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel today. We will be revisiting the Android 13 deck, which I think it's a really, really underrated leader. That's a lot of really in one sentence. However, with Series 10 and its Unison card, Green just got added so much defensive option to its arsenal and they are for free. That means you can tap out at 3, play your Super 13 and be safe about this. Of course, the 5 cost counterplay freezer that pops anything 7 or less on the board for free that you can play, it's also a really good successor target. So I hope I got you fired up because I am. See you guys after the short intro, alright? Hey guys, I wanna welcome you. Okay, let's make sure that everything is recording. Hey guys, I wanna welcome you back from the intro. So let's talk about Android 13, but we cannot talk about it without knowing its leader. The, the leader is really good. It is well designed ahead of its time. So it has a permanent. If Android 14 and 15 are in your drop area, you can do Awaken at six or less life. And Awaken, if your life is four or less, you may draw two cards and flip this card over. So what happens when you flip him over thirst for destruction android 13 really really cool look also if your opponent is sun goku or battle cards with any energy cost six or less is placed in its drop area this card gains critical by one of his skills by one of his skills this card gains critical it's really really awesome auto because it is an auto it's not when you attack it is every time it happens you will gain critical all right so you can have like Double critical. No, I'm just kidding. There's no double critical. It's a single crit. A single crit. When this card attacks, you get to draw a card. Really simple, really simple leader. But how are we going to exploit that? This is what we're going to explore. All right. One of the things that is very important when you're playing the Android 13 deck is to make sure that you awaken really fast. He does nothing when he's unawakened, right? So you really, really want to awaken. Fortunately, you can do it in turn one for zero energy. And this is how you do it. Android 14, store it first. This is something that you want to have in your hands. Hard mulligan for him because you need it in turn one. Activate main. If your leader is an Android 13 card and you choose this card in your hands and one Android 15 card, you put it into drop area you choose two cards in the life add it into hands now you have six life and then you draw a card your opponent chooses one card in their hands and put it into your drop area then after that you awaken with a leader draw two cards swing with a leader draw one card that is a good turn one play and we will be playing uh, android 15 this is also important to have it in your hands because you need to kind of drop it and this are your yellow energy take note you kind of need one yellow energy for this deck so he is a really good card because he's a 1 plus 10k. If your leader is green at the end of the battle when you combo with this card, play it in rest mode. And he has a second auto It says, choose one or two life and add it into your hands. You can go up to four, but you want to go up to four because of his super combo, all right? When you play this card during your opponent's turn, you get to choose one of the green energy and switch it to active. So when you combo with this card, it gives you 10k. It gives you a three cost thing on board that you can uh, like successor from. And at the same time, you can untap the one energy at one card into your life. Really, really good card. I really love them both. And of course, we will be playing four copies of Android Troop 14 and 15. This is both Android 14 and 15. Place this card in your drop area from your hands. If your leader is an Android 13 card, you get to draw a card. Really good card. I love it. All right, so we will be talking about the Unison card. One of the most powerful Unison card or the best Unison card in the game, Demigra Unison of uh, Sorcery. He is a one cost. That is really good. And his permanent is what makes it really, really good. Because if this card were to lose a marker from your opponent's attack, you may add one card from your life to your hands instead. So he, it is very difficult to defend him at 5k, but if your opponent swings at him, you can keep all your marker by taking one life uh, to your hands instead. Not to your drop, to your hands. That's really awesome. And plus one, this card gets plus 10k for the turn, so you can swing with him. However, his minus three. Choose one of your opponent's battle card, KO it. Any battle card. Any battle card, choose one, KO it. Then choose one of your opponent's battle card with an energy cost three or less, ignoring Barry and KO it. Minus three nets you two things that you can KO on the board. One, 
you don't care about energy. And number two, the second one, it's uh, including ignoring barrier three, something three or less. That's really good. But ultimately, the value of a unison card, especially something as cheap as this, because it can get two marker right from the start, is the ability to play your free counterplay and counterattack, dormant potential, Frieza, char charismatic. And of course, because we are playing the Android 13 leader, we need to bring out the Super 13. And how we're gonna do it is with this card, Android 13, the brilliance, uni absorb, you get to choose his three costs, so you have to hard cast him for three costs. And you get to choose one 14 and 15 card from your drop area, place it under this card. If your leader card is an Android card, you get to choose one Android 13 card with energy cost of seven and place it on top of him from your hands, right? And he has a permanent, you can't play this card from any area if there is a Ready Android 13 card in play, so you cannot stack like 13, 13, 13, 13, and more and more 13. All right. And uh, however, we have a second option: a red, uh, a green, and a yellow. You get to choose one Android 14 and Android 15 from your drop area. Place it under this card. If a leader card is an Android card, you're gonna choose one Android 13 from your hands with energy cost of seven or less and play it on top of this card. Also, if your leader card is an Android card, at the end of the battle, when you combo this card you can play this card in rest mode. All right, so this is something that you can do. Uh, you can, uh, this guy comes up for two energy. This guy comes up for three energy. See how you want to play it. Uh, this guy cannot be like a stack you cannot play. When there's an Android 13, you can't play any more of him, but this guy you can. So this is something that you can do. If you have already have a super 17, a super 13 on the board, you can use this to stack another super 13 on the board if you want to, right? So your, your uh, super 13 option is this. This is a really good card, double strike. When you play this card, your opponent chooses one of the battle card and then they KO it, of course. Then when one of your opponent, that that's a really good one. However, the second one is the crazy one. When one of your opponent's battle card is placed in the drop area from any area by any of your skill, any of your skill other than this one, your opponent chooses one card from your hands and places it in the drop area. What does that mean? That means if you KO your opponent's card with a skill, uh, like with Frieza, your opponent's drop a card. When you make your opponent discard one and he discard a battle card, your opponent discard additional one. If you crit your opponent with your leader's ability and after he crit, he turns around and that is a battle card because he that battle card is placed in the drop area by a skill, your opponent has to drop another one. So this guy, he does not have barrier, but with barrier it's a little bit broken, but he is really, really good on the board. Being a 30k double strike, it's also really, really good at the same time. But we have another Android 13 that we're going to play, Adamantium. Uh, Ad at a, at a main team, Avenger, Devil Strike, Successor, two costs, two costs for seven. This is crazy because of Frieza, it's five. It's so easy to get there. Activate Mage once per turn. If your leader card is an Android 13 card and you choose three Android cards in your drop area, place them at the bottom of a deck in any order. Android 13, Android, uh, Android 14, Android 15, Android 13, just put it inside. Even your super combo, we are gonna be playing super combo as uh, Android as super combo. You can put it back into your deck. Then you choose up to one of your opponent's battle card in rest mode, KO it. That means if you have your Android 17 on the board, he has to drop additional one. Then your opponent chooses two cards from your hands and plays them in the drop area. And this is activate main once per turn. That means if he's not taken care of by your opponent the next turn, you can activate it again push more cards back into your deck and make your opponent discard even more. It's crazy, it's good, I love it. One of the combos that we are gonna be playing is, uh, one of the things that we do here is that we don't, when you're playing Android 13, you really don't have the option of uh, clearing people's board because there is a lot of things that you can clear, but not with barrier. However, we will be pairing it with Vegeta Absolute Agent of Destruction. He has double strike crit, but his also is one that is crazy because you get to choose one card in your in your hands, discard it. When you when this card is being played, choose all of your opponent's battle card, ignoring barrier, and KO them. That means when you play him for four cards, you discard a card, you clear the board, your opponent's board, and if you have unending destruction, Android 13, his second auto kicks in for every card, everything that pops, your opponent has to discard one from their hands. Imagine your opponent goes wide and it's four. 
uh, things on the board, four battle cards on the board. You play Vegeta, your opponent has to pop four, and then your opponent has to drop four. And then you activate main, this card gets 5k for the turn, now you swing with 25k, critical, double strike, swing, and if both of them are battle cards, your opponent has to drop two more. So your opponent now has less defensive option, his board is clear, and at the same time, if he's gonna take this attack, there's a more option for them to reduce their hands. So this is the deck list. Uh, some things that I want to point out over here is that when it comes to this two Vegeta, um, maybe you can play Android 18. However, with Vegeta, it's also really good because when you when you play it at one cost, your opponent drops one and you can use it for a combo and then you draw one. That's really, really good uh, when he's played like that. One of the things I want to point out is this card, Dr. Mew Weapon Supplies. He is really good in this deck because somehow he's themed. Uh, when you play burst three, when you play this card, you get to choose one green android with energy cost three or more or one green extra card with energy cost two or less from the drop area and add it into hands. That means when you play this card, you burst three, you can get back your dormant legend, uh, dormant potential, your super powerful negate, put it back into your hands. Now you are even more defensive when you're playing. Of course, if you are bursting and then you hit your android, uh, your 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 cell, Xeno cell, XCR, you can bring it back with, put it back into your hands because Dr. Mew weapon supplies, he takes back any android three or more and he is an android that is three or more. All right, so you can take back your dormant legend and then you can take back your Xeno cell. All right, so I'm gonna put this out here so I think it's much easier. I hope you like the deck profile. I need to go now because I have a tournament to play. Wish me luck and see you guys in the next video, all right? Ciao, bye.